My name is Oliver Soans and we have Soans Farm and Home Museum together with my wife Mary. We opened up in the first of May and through into uh, October, November. And we would go to sales down in Lancaster, New York and over to Lebanon. Every once in a while we'd see the Sprout Water and equipment pop up for sale and we kind of thought it shouldn't go to the waste, so we'd buy it and bring it back home. And before we know it, we got several pieces of it, more than actually we should have, but uh, that's how we come about getting the pieces. Sprout started in 1866. They actually started up in Pitcher Rocks, and they was actually just a blacksmith, and they made uh, hay forks. And then they moved to Muncie because they couldn't get coal for the blacksmith shops. So they had to get closer to the canal, and that's when it, how they got the money. There's a picture of Sprout Waldron's the factory. It was rather a huge, large factory, and they made they made a lot of different things. They made like bag trucks, and they made corn showers. Uh, here's our corn cob crusher. And they had, there's the one with the wooden frame. This didn't work out very good. The wood kind of went to bad, so they went to a metal one. This is a price book for what the, the price of their product was in 1950. Prices compared to today's, uh, what a burr mill cost. These are wooden augers. These augers was actually designed so that you could change these holes. You could reverse the way the auger went just by changing those little paddles into a different hole. Okay, this is a little stone burr mill that was patented in 1889 by Sprouts. Uh, it has two stones in there. One stone turns one way and the other stone is fast. This is one of the little stones, and you find a lot of these around the area. Uh, this is a corn cob crusher that was, the farmers was having trouble getting rid of a lot of the corn cobs. So Sprouts made this corn cob crusher that they could crush the corn cobs and put back into the feed. And this over here is a corn, uh, a corn crusher that crushes up the corn for the little peepees, chicken feed. Um, this is all set up on a line shaft so it runs. Okay, this is an original wooden hay trolley and the hay uh, track. This was originally uh, called Waldron and Sprout Company. This was made in 1874. It was patented August 11, 1874. It was pretty much made of all wood. And when they put this up in the top of the barn, they, they made, a, this is called a rafter hook. That they would hook in the rafters to help pull this part up into the barn. And this is original Sprout water and wooden pulley that they used. This had a real a mechanism that tripped itself. Uh, this track was probably about 30 to 40 feet long, this wooden track. Sprout Waldron's went and been this up in Pitcher Rocks in 1866 and the first thing that they actually made was a was a single prong hay fork like this and the hay fork actually it was so labor intense making hay and they had to find a better way to put hay into the mouth so Sprouts made this hay fork in 1867 and the patent numbers here on the hay fork and this was not a very good successful hay fork. Then later on, the Sprouts come up with a double hay fork, a double prong fork like this type, and this was a really successful hay fork.
we have the original payroll book, 1898 employees payroll book. They got 12 cents an hour and they actually traded the feed for some of their, they actually ground feed for their horses and they traded feed for the hours that they worked. And they had a hunting camp club that went hunting. I think it's called uh, Downwoody or Dunwoody. And they all went hunting bear. And uh, that was a big thing. The first time a bear season, they all went hunting up there at, the, at that hunting camp. 